June 20th, 1944. The Imperial Navy has been sent to halt an American offensive at Saipan. The U.S. fleet has been putting up a vicious fight, blasting hundreds of enemy planes out of the sky. Yet, Enterprise and her carrier comrades have been unable to locate the main enemy fleet. Now, the skies over the Philippine Sea are filled with American airplanes on the hunt for Admiral Ozawa. Target, the Japanese fleet. Objective, drive the remains of Ozawa's task force from the Philippine Sea. Strategy, fly constant searches until the Imperial ships are spotted and destroyed. But the seek and destroy mission goes on for hours. And still, Admiral Mark Mitcher cannot find Admiral Ozawa. Tension is high aboard the Big E as the afternoon wears on. But at 3.40 p.m., they hit pay dirt. 300 miles away, Enterprise search planes finally discover the enemy fleet. 6.30 p.m., finally, after two hours in the air, Killer Kane's air group spots the enemy fleet. 12,000 feet below, they've discovered a major part of Ozawa's force, three carriers, Ryuho, Junyo, and Hiyo, and cruisers Mogami and Nagato. It's a free-for-all. Kane's forces immediately split up and make a run for the enemy vessels. The Japanese surface ships open up with a deadly fusillade of flak as the dive bombers and Hellcats begin their assault. But they keep right on coming. Jig Dog Ramage and five SBDs line up for a bombing run on the carrier Ryuho. Jig Dog wings over and makes a steep dive on the enemy ship. I put the pepper, as we called it, just forward of the bow and went down to the, the 2,000 feet, maybe a little lower, uh, dropped my bomb. Ramage delivers 1,000 pounds of tear on the Ryuho and immediately pulls out of his dive. It's a crippling near miss. One by one, four other SBDs drop their payloads over the Imperial flat top. From his rear seat position, Kali gets a choice opportunity to admire the grisly work of his comrades. Ryuho has been mauled, and carrier Hiyo is wounded by torpedoes and is burning. Enterprise bomb hits help finish her off. Just as the Hellcats rejoin the dive bombers, Flash Gordon spots a target of opportunity. Way down on the water, maybe 10 miles east, I saw a zero headed west, about 900 feet. Gordon immediately firewalls the Hellcat and pulls the big plane into a half loop and a half roll. He races after the zero, draws a bead and cuts loose with his rapid fire 50s. Pulled up in the top of a loop and shot him down. He blew up. Then we came back down and, and joined up with the bombers. The Zero is Flash Gordon's seventh and final kill of World War II. He and his fellow pilots escape the last enemy flak bursts and head for home. The Battle of the Philippine Sea is a disaster for the Japanese Navy. Admiral Ozawa has failed to drive the U.S. fleet from Saipan. And the defeat has cost him hundreds of Imperial pilots and three aircraft carriers, Iyo, Taiho, and Shokaku. Some of the best news we got there was to hear that our old nemesis, the Shokaku, had been put down. For the Japanese, the aftermath of the battle is a recognition that their carrier force is finished. They may still have vessels, but they no longer have aircraft or, or pilots to put aboard those vessels. But the Japanese fleet is not finished yet. The Big E's nemesis, Zuikaku, is still afloat. And so are the battleships. Massive battle wagons, Musashi and Yamato, along with an armada of cruisers and destroyers, are ready to meet the Enterprise in battle. The bloody combat on Saipan goes on for another three weeks. It becomes one of the most costly battles of the entire Pacific War. 